Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to make one of these surreal faces where you've got the face bit that's come off and you've got lots of flowers all coming out from behind it. It's a really popular idea. I've done all these tutorials a long time ago and now I want to show you with the latest updates how you can make it a little bit easier. Um, we're not going to use generative fill today. We're going to be talking about using actual photographs. These are photographs of flowers from my garden and a photograph of my wife to use as a background. So first thing we need to do is open the background face. So we're going to file open. We're going to find the face. And we're going to click open. Once we've done this, we're going to use the select feature to select the subject of the picture. We're going to make sure the layer isn't locked and we're going to select the subject of the picture. And once we've done that, we are going to add a layer mask down here. And then we're going to add a plain background. So we're going to make a new layer down here. We drag that to the bottom. We're going to go over to the paint bucket icon, which is hiding underneath the gradient tool. We're going to select white and we're going to bucket fill it in white. Okay. While we're on this layer, we need to remove this part of the arm. So we will use the lasso really carefully. Lasso that all out. Now we'll do this on the layer mask. We'll go to black. We'll switch to the paint bucket and we will bucket fill it in black and it will mask it off for us nicely. Then we will click Command B to deselect. Any bits we've missed or we want to change, we'll quickly use a paintbrush and just paint in any bits that we're not happy about. Like so. And once we've done that, we've then got our basic face that we're going to use to fill with flowers. So once we've got this, we need to then go to Image, Adjustments, make it black and white. Make sure we're on the actual picture, not the layer mask. So we go Image, Adjustments, and we look for the black and white option, and we click OK. And while we're there, always good to do a few levels. I always like to move the black in slightly to make it slightly darker, and the light in slightly just to highlight the areas we want. Get it so we're happy, click OK, and we are ready to go. So what we need to do now is using the lasso tool again, draw around our face that we're going to be cutting out, like so. Very carefully around here. Like so, and then we we'll make sure we're on this layer here, and we go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste. That pastes it onto a new layer. You see, I've still got some of the background that came through. So if I go select subject again, and use the lasso tool with the minus, I can just get rid of all the bits that I don't want. And then go select inverse and backspace, and I've cleaned up my image so I've just got the face that I wanted. Looks like I need to do a little bit more in there. Go back to the last two. To this little bit of an image here. And then backspace that. Now we've got our face. What we want to do next is move it away from where it is on the body and we'll do a fine tuning to it later. So we're going to move it forward a bit. I still think we need to do a little bit more around that eye. So we're going to zoom in, press some control plus on the keyboard. And then I'm going to use the lasso to look very carefully this time. All right. Clean up my image. If you go wrong, Control Z to reselect it. Uh, 
I'll move that plate and trunk in and then zoom back out. And there is our cutout face. Now we just need to add some other flowers. So to do this, we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Place Embedded. We're going to find our folder where we save the flowers, the new flowers. And we're going to click on all of them at once. It's not going to let me. We can place one at a time. So we're going to go and move it to where we want it. And we're going to go to file place embedded. Click on the next one. Click place. Do the same thing again. Make sure we press enter each time. So file place embedded. Click place. Press enter, file, place, embedded, place, press enter, if it's too big we can scale it in a minute. Get them all in there first, so file, place, embedded, and place, press enter, file, place, embedded, you can see What's going on? File. Place embedded. One more to go. And the file. Place embedded. And the last one. Now, what's great about the new features is obviously you can select the subject and you can hit a layer mask and it will mask out. The flowers really, really nicely. Like so, we'll put them there, we'll do this one. So we will select the subject, hit the layer mask button, scale it down slightly, do it like that. Go on the next one, select the subject, hit the layer mask. Scale it down, move it out the way, click on the next one, select the subject, take the layer mask, make it smaller, click on the next one, select the subject, click on the layer mask, click on the next one, select the subject. Click on the layer mask. Click on the next one. Select the subject. Click layer mask. And the last one. We're going to select the subject. And hit the layer mask. And then you can see we've got all these flowers floating around on the screen. What we need to do before we start moving them around is collect the layer with the face. Drag that to the top of the pile of layers. So that it is at the very top. You can see it's now in front of them all. Position it where we would like it. And then we click on each layer with the flowers and we move it where we want it. We will have some fun experimenting with where they go and how big they are. We can stretch them in smaller so that they are where they want. And if we want this one behind this one, we drag it below on the layer. This one then becomes in front. We want this one at the very top, we drag it to the very top. And we position it where we like it. As you can see, we're going to move them all around. In our creative flare, we want that one above that one, we can move it up there in the order. Resize it down a little bit. And this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. If you find it hard to click on one of them, 
you untick the auto select, click the layer, and then you can move it without clicking on other one. Right. Making sure you selected the right layer of the menu, then you can just move it where you'd like to put it. Right there, and then this one, I think, that's bother. And drag that over there slightly. And you can see you've now got your flowers arranged how you'd like. One last thing to do is connect the layer with the face on it that we've now positioned where we want it. And right click on the layer, go to blending options, click on drop shadow. You can see what that looks like. We want to change the angle so that it's, the shadow is behind and decide how much shadow you want. I don't think you need too much. Otherwise it will look a bit weird. And when you're happy with there it is. Click OK over here and then you have got your face cut off in a surreal way, filled with flowers, all flowers from the garden and it looks really cool. I might move the face down slightly. And you can experiment with all sorts of different ways of doing this. Um, it's a really interesting technique. There's a few artists that do similar things. There's quite a bit like this on the internet for you to explore. And um, yeah, have fun experimenting, making your own flower filled faces. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video, obviously give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if there's anything you'd like me to cover in future videos. Okay, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.